Hi everyone and welcome. I'm here in the beautiful Alps in Switzerland, walking up to a very, very beautiful special place, but it's very, very hard because it's very steep and I'm very tired. Look, I come from all the way down there from a village called Randa. And although the mountain views is absolutely stunning, it's really tiring. I can't do it no more. I stopped every five minutes to get up here. And here I'm a little bit closer to the point that I want to show you. That's absolutely wonderfully amazing. Look at this. Longest suspension bridge in the world. Built in 2017. So it took me about two hours and 45 minutes to get up here. Uh, although when I was down the valley, I've been told that it takes only two hours. I guess stopping every five minutes to have something to drink or to rest is a little bit too much. <laughs> so it added to the time of getting up here. Here I am on the longest suspended bridge in the world. It's in Switzerland. Oh, the flies are biting. It's been built in 2017 and it's almost 500 meters long and I'm gonna cross it. So it's 494 meters long to be exact. Hello, Chris. So needless to say that I got very, very lucky with the weather. Look at this amazing scenery. I mean, it's just wonderful. And although the bridge is uh, moving a little bit, as you can mm. see, <laughs> but um, it's still amazing to be up here. As I told you earlier, the bridge is 494 meter long, which means that it's almost one kilometer long back and forth, which I'm going to do actually, cross it and come back. And at its highest point, it's 85 meter high, um, which is quite a nice height, I guess. Some people might be afraid of heights, but I'm not, so I'm quite okay with this scenery and landscape and wow <laughs> amazing things that i can see up here but uh i guess some people wouldn't probably like it as much so like i said it took um see how high it is so like i said it took about uh, two hour and 45 minutes to walk up here and it was very steep and very hard but um, as you can see I think it's completely worth it <laughs> so let's take a quick look at how this thing is built check this out would you actually seeing this trust like walking on it <laughs> because I do um, and it's actually supposed to be uh, holding up to 250 people, which I found quite strange because there's no one actually checking out who is going on the bridge on either side of it. Like here, see, I'm on the other side already and uh, there is no one here to check out who's going on it or not. So it's kind of weird, but... Uh, Let's trust that uh, it all works well and that no one is uh, going on it knowing that there's already 250 people on this bridge. <laughs> Anyways, um, so you walk up here from the village of Veranda, which is 1,406 meters above the sea. And up here on the bridge, you're 2,080 meters above the sea which means that I walked up 674 meters altogether. And back and forth from the village of Renda, this is 9.4 kilometers long. So it's quite steep going up and it's quite a long way to walk. But um, I totally love the scenery. 
you look at the bridge right there, see it's a little bit crooked. <laughs> so sometimes when I'm working on it I'm actually wondering if I should really trust it since it's not completely like straight, but I guess I have to since I'm on it already. <laughs> And of course, going up here, you normally should check out the weather and make sure that it's not going to change from one second to the other, because in the mountains, the weather can change quite fast. So it can be quite a challenge if you get some thunderstorm all of a sudden, <laughs> you know. So it's more for one person than for two. As you can see, one next to the other is like a little bit tricky it's really not large at all so it's kind of hard to see but this bridge is only 70 centimeters large which is not really large for two people passing next to each other it's really really not large at all <laughs> and the bridge is really not moving as much as it would be moving if it didn't have stabilizers uh, in it. I don't know exactly how they did it, but I know that it's stabilized. So it's actually, um, I feel that it's kind of moving a lot because when people are passing by and things like that, it's moving more, but basically it's really well built and it's not moving that much. So I am glad I got on top of this because it was very hard. It was a long walk up. They say it's two hours, but I think it's a little bit more and it's very steep. But I made it. It's full of flies, it's full of bugs. So it's kind of a, you know, a pain at times because I don't like when the flies are trying to bite me. It's those biting flies. I don't know what they're called in English, but they're not so good. <laughs> uh, but besides that, it was absolutely worth it. I mean, it was very hard, but completely worth it. So I recommend that you come and visit this in Switzerland because it's beautiful. And the lady, done, she told me, well, first of all, she looked at my shoes because I didn't have hiking shoes on, which is not a very good idea, but that's all I had with me at the moment. And then she said, if you go up, bring a lot of water and I didn't bring enough because a lot of water is very heavy so I thought oh, one bottle is heavy enough let's manage with only one but I'm thirsty <laughs> so you can obviously do this with kids as well if you're if you have kids that if you have kids that can you know manage to walk a lot in very steep areas but uh, some people do it so i recommend that uh, if you think it's worth it you should go for it and if you come up i shall advise you to take very good hiking shoes because my shoes are not hiking shoes and they're not very good for what I've been doing right now. And uh, take a lot of water. Because a lot of water is needed when you come up here. Because you walk a lot, you sweat a lot, you're very, thir you're very thirsty. Yeah. So I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and visiting this wonderful place. These are the images of me going down, as you can see, <laughs> or at least a little part of it. And I hope to see you very soon for a new video. Bye bye.